was. Right now, though, with Pride celebrations cancelled or postponed across the world this year, Drag Queen Divino De Campo is supporting a new online version of the event, which starts tomorrow, and there she is. Wow, look at you. Look at you. Look what you can do in five minutes. <laughs> you look Just amazing. Out of bed. Just rolled out of bed and I'm ready. Oh, there you are. A thing of joy. This is great news because Pride is one of those celebrations, and it's of course all over the country, all over the world. And it's a great day of celebrating. And it just seems so sad that we weren't going to mark it in some way. So it's brilliant that we're doing it, even in a virtual fashion. Absolutely. Uh, so Pink News have put this together in conjunction with Kaleidoscope Trust, who is, uh, that's who they're raising money for. Um, and it's just going to be four days of a digital extravaganza with loads and loads of people. So it's this Thursday, the 4th of June, right through to Sunday with tons and tons of content happening online. And I'm, I'm really proud and privileged to be a part of it. It's a great idea. And like I said, Pride is a celebration. I was lucky enough to be, we, ITV always have a bus. And um, a, a couple of years ago we went, and honestly, Davina, it was the best day. But it is so much more than just a celebration. There's a lot more to it, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a big part of it is about saying to everybody else in the community, hi, we're here, we exist. We, we're part of your community and we deserve the same respect as everybody else. Um, which I think at the moment, you know, considering where the world is, mm. is a, a really important thing to be putting out there and reminding people. No, absolutely, absolutely. More important than ever it was. Now, look, the last time I saw you properly was when we were celebrating my 60th birthday. Gosh, doesn't that seem like another world, Davina? It just seems I like know. another world. Well, Angus misses his auntie Davina because you oh. looked after Angus that morning. <laughs> I did, you such a darling. It was so lovely of you. He really enjoyed it. He enjoyed the whole experience, which was wonderful. And of course, we know you from so many shows. I mean, I remember you on The Voice. Of course, we know you from the UK version of the, the Olympics of the drag world, which was uh, RuPaul's Drag Race. That was an amazing experience. I mean, how, how important was that experience to your life? Did it change your life in, in, in a way? Oh, absolutely, yes. I mean, I'll, I will be forever grateful to the opportunities that RuPaul's Drag Race has given me. You know, it's it's given me a platform and a voice um, and just, it's amazing to be able to talk to so many different people. You know, I now come into contact with loads and loads of people that I never would have come in, into contact with. So yeah, it's amazing. I'm super grateful for it. Oh, it's a wonderful show. I absolutely love it. I love it because, it, of course, it's hilariously funny and hilariously well done. But it's also, Davina, it's got this heart. And that was the thing that we saw. And I think we saw that especially on the UK version. You know, when you listen to people's stories and to how they got to where they are and all the obstacles they've come through. And it's very, very moving because you're all so very open. Yeah. And I think that was one of the real sort of joys about uh, the British version particularly was that it, it felt very honest you know there was uh, nobody was sort of angling or going in with a specific I'm going to say this or do this it, you know everything was very natural um, and and we, we were just really open and honest and I again I'm just really proud to have been part of it. <laughs> No, you're right. It was it was lovely. And you'll always be remembered for that. And that's no bad thing. No bad thing at all. Um, now, of course, you were able on that show, and again, of course, on The Voice, to showcase your voice. You've got an extraordinary voice. So during all of this <laughs> lockdown, have you been working on new material? Have you been, you know, will we hear more from you? Yes, absolutely. Um, I have a single coming out June 26th called Gratify. So uh, prior to lockdown, we'd been working really hard on the video and then lockdown happened. So mm, that sort of made that more difficult. Um, but it's going to be a four track release and it's got two number one DJs uh, who've done remixes on it, which I'm super excited about, Harry Hardino and Tough Club. Fantastic. So. Oh, that's amazing. That's really good. And tell me, obviously, you know, like we said, you get up every day just looking like that. You know, it's fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But as far as lockdown has been, how, how has it been for you? I mean, how, how is the whole experience? Because we're all dealing with it in our own different ways, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, I've been in lockdown for a week longer because I came back from Belfast with the flu. Um, right. So I was locked in my bedroom for two full weeks and passing plates through, through the bottom of the door like I was in prison. Mm. Um, so it's been uh, interesting 
but actually it's been even more busy than usual um, because I can't say, oh, I'm on a train for the next four hours to a gig. So when people want to talk to you or have an interview or do a meeting, you, there is no excuse. <laughs> Oh, you're absolutely right, because you can't go, sorry, I'm doing something else, because they're like, no, you're not, <laughs> because nobody is. <laughs> Nobody's doing anything else. You do look absolutely spectacular, and people do talk about the sort of the whole power of drag, and I've talked about this before, but remember when, when I, I did the, the front cover for Attitude as um, Morning Gloria? Do you know what, Davina? I, I, it was like being unleashed. I don't know what was... I, whatever was inside came out. And... <laughs> For good or bad, and I, I, I loved the experience. It was a remarkable experience. I'll never forget that day. It was brilliant. And you looked absolutely sensational. It was such absolutely good fun. Absolutely sensational. <laughs> but it does make you feel, because I'm not very good, you know, the whole kind of like getting your picture taken, I tend to sort of go all oh. a bit kind of, ooh. But like that, dressed like that, Gloria loved it. You know, this is the thing. It's, it's true, yeah, isn't it? Is. When you're Davina, you know, Davina, Davina's just, I mean, she doesn't give a monkeys about anything. No, of course <laughs> not. Why would she? She looks like this. She's <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, look, will you come back? First of all, will you represent us at the Eurovision Song Contest next year? Oh, because then I we might have a chance. I would love to do that. I would love to see you do that. And, uh, and I need to see you really, really soon. And uh, when the single is out, Tell us, you know, send us a video because I'd love to see it. I want to see more of Davina. The world, the world needs more Davina De Campo. It's so good to see you. Thank it you really so much is. for talking. Thank to you, me. and good luck with Virtual Pride. It's a great idea. Um, thank you to Pink News for sorting all that out. Thank you so much. Great to see thank you, love. You. Bye. Bye. <laughs>